Hello all, uh, this is Mr. Lawrence here. This is in particular a video for my Honors 9 class. I wanna talk about some things before you guys have to submit your speeches. Uh, I'm gonna do a brief outline of just sort of how I'd like your outline to look. I'm, I've got a sample outline in front of me. Um, you already have something like this on your Google Drive um, assessment, or what am I saying, Google Drive, your Google Classroom assignment um, that hopefully you've been filling out already. I wanna go over the requirements of that and I just wanna talk about like, how do I get this thing online? And I'm gonna show you that um, as we go through here. So what we wanna do real quick. So the first thing, let's talk about our outline. So you can see, this is just a typical MLA format. We've gone over this before. A couple of things I wanna draw your attention to, right? You need an attention getter. You need some background information. You need a thesis statement. You probably need an important audience, importance to audience, right? Why does this argument you're making matter, right? Um, you on yours have like your purpose, right? And we said your purpose is to, you know, convince people that this is true, right? You don't have to read your purpose out loud, but it is something that you want to, pardon me, that is something you want to say, right? Then we enter, end our introduction with the thesis. Remember we said, we said our thesis is our argument. What is true about the world? Either the government should do something differently, people should do something differently, or this thing is bad, this thing is good. You know, um, I, I think one of our topics, the argument might be like, uh, female athletes should be paid at equitable rates to male athletes, right? That That is an argument. That is a thesis, right? So your argument is the first half, then you have your warrant or your claim. In the second half, we talked about this in our LBQ, right? So female athletes should be paid as much as male athletes because A and B. And then your two arguments would become your two arguments in your outline. So you can see We've got argument one, um, we've got quotes under each one, then we have a, a place for a counter argument two, quote from research, then in some analysis under that probably. And then we have our counter argument, right? So our counter argument, I said this isn't required. It might be that you just have a lot of evidence, right? And you're, you feel like this is a really strong argument even without anything else. But you might wanna add a counter argument in there where you say like, okay, well, I know some people would say that men bring in more money than women, their sports do, so they should be paid more, but I think that that's not true because, so your counter argument is just kind of you like cutting people off at the pass, right? Getting in front of like what they wanna, what they might say in response to you before they can say it and then proving that you're true. Now, uh, your conclusion, right? Summary statement, restate what you've said, and then why does this matter? Right. So I want to reemphasize that, you know, at the end of the day, women deserve equitable pay to men in all instances because, you know, your value is not equal to the amount of work that you do, for example. And then I would say, okay, why does this matter? Well, this is an important topic to everyone in this room because everybody ha in this room probably has a woman in their life that they love. And even though mo most of you probably don't, you know, have a, a family member or a girlfriend who is a professional athlete, if you would want one of your friends who is a woman to get paid equal to men, then you should probably want all of them to, right? And so this matters to everyone in this world. Right, so very simple, that's our outline. Remember, 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 most of us, when we lost points, we lost points on our first because of on our first speech because of the work cited. Remember, we can go to add-ons, easy bib, bib creator, and then get pull up our bib creator, pop that in there, make sure we click on website, search for that. This doesn't always work, right? Remember we said this won't work in Galileo. So if we go to galileo.usg.edu, I think our password right now is credit. I sure hope it is. Boop, let's see. Hey, hey, hey. All right, so it worked. All right, so if I went like um, US women's soccer team, right? And I searched that because that's an issue that's been with, in our example of women athletes being paid as much as men. So let's just pull up a some source. It doesn't matter. Uh, okay, so sure, why not? So like, let's say that we were going to quote this source. We couldn't just put this website in to our, oh, wrong one, into our easy bib, right? What we would be do is we would click over here on site, right? And then we'd roll down on this list. We'd have to put our cursor over this list to get this to move because we put it down here. It'll move like this, right? So we put it in this box and we scroll all the way down to MLA. We don't need the work cited. We would just need that. So we would copy and then paste that into here. Um, Make sure you do this. You have to have four citations. Do not, someone's taking out their recycling ne in my next door. Anyway, do not, do not, do not lose 20 points off the top because you didn't do your works freaking cited. Make sure you get your last name on each page up at the top in your header. Make sure that you fix all this stuff for the day it's due. Remember it's due on this Tuesday. So if we look down here in the corner, that is March 17th and we wanna do it in that format, right? 
17 March, 2020, right? It's a weird format. It's the, well, not weird. It's just European and that's what MLA uses. Now, how do you get me this? How do you get me this, um, this video that you're going to record of yourself giving your speech? Let's talk about what I want in that video and how you're going to get it to me. In that video, I just want you giving the speech. You might have someone else video you standing up. You might have someone else video you sitting down. I don't really care whether you're standing or sitting. What I care about is that you're kind of in a nice upward posture. You're not slouched over. You could stand up behind a table. You could just stand up in your living room. It doesn't matter, right? Stare at the camera, make eye contact. All of those things apply. Now, obviously, you don't have an audience. Your audience is the camera, so just make eye contact with the camera. Don't look down, right? Keep it between three and four minutes. Now, this is going to be easier for you than your previous speeches because you'll know <laughs> before you turn it up and put it in whether it is under or over three or four minutes, right? So you want to get before that three or four minute mark. My advice would be to just do this on your phone. If you don't have a phone, you can do it on your uh, camera webcam. If you checked out a um, Chromecast or a Chromecast, what am I saying? If you checked out a Chromebook, they all have webcams on them. They also have video capture, capture software. If that's your situation, if you need to use a Chromebook to, to take a video, um, if you pull up the thing and just type uh, webcam or video, you it should pop up an app for you. Um, if you have problems with that, send me an email and we can talk about it one-on-one. Um, if you're going to use your phone, I would just record a video as you normally would using your phone's camera, not in Snapchat or Instagram or anything, because you want to be able to get the raw video. So use your phone's, your phone's camera, have someone record your video. You'll know how long it is. Now, the way I would do this, there's two ways you can do it. You can either add it directly to Google Docs or you can upload it to YouTube. If you want to upload it to YouTube and just send me a link, if you go to this website here, uploading videos, um, it has Android and iPad here. I will put this link on our uh, my speech advice post that I'm about to put up. So I would I would go to this link and just see how you how you upload it, and then hit hit me with the link on your on the same assignment on Google Classroom where you would normally upload your outline. Now you also can just add to the actual assignment. So if I go to Classroom here dot google.com if you actually just whoa what have i done my flush my frustration ah eh, there we go yeah okay sure shut up there we go okay my frustration with computers continues apace regardless of where i am so we would go on here right i already have the argumentative speech on your, well, that's not what you would see. You would see something that looks like that. On your argument speech, you'll have a place to add. There is actually a place to add files. As long, and in the Google Classroom app, as long as your um, file's under a certain size, you can just add it directly to it. If it's over a certain size, it might ask you to add it to Google Drive first. So you can get the Drive app, upload it on Google Drive, then go into adding from Drive like you would normally add your outline. If you have any problems with that, I'm making the due date Tuesday at midnight intentionally to give you more time. If you have problems uploading that video, video, go ahead and contact me ahead of time. Like I said before, and I said this in the video I hope that you've watched saying start here for the video, start here for digital learning. Like I said in that video as well, you really like you just i'm willing to be flexible but you have to stay in contact with me so if you're having technical issues please 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 let me know ahead of time i will probably move the deadline for you it is not a big deal but you have to have to have to get in contact with me because i cannot read your mind so let me know if you have any other questions um and i look forward to seeing your speeches i know they're going to be really good i think you guys have picked awesome topics and we'll go from there all right bye